Oh, Mason, you're not doing your sound? <laughs> there we go. So today we have a awesome 1,000 point battle of two, well, two gun lines, what can you say, more or less, kind of, the, what can you say? Yeah, yeah. Yep, of the Esther Matillum versus the Raven Guard. The mission is Rise of the Machine Spirit. And we both have really machine spirit heavy armies, actually. Uh, yours are a bit heavier. Not heavy, thick. There's a big old difference between the two. Uh, mine are just exoskeletons. Yes. But because I'm pointing at them, how about we go and tell the audience what you have right here? Alright, so that is the first of three Invictor Warsuits, all of them with the Twin Iron Hail Auto Cannon. I have two units of five incursors, each with the Haywire Mine. That's the second. That's another Victor War suit, and the other one. I have three units of Eliminators, two of which have the uh, Bolt Sniper Rifles, and the other has, on the bottom floor there, has the Laz Fusils. I have a Phobos Captain on the second oh, floor. Oh, there we go, there he is. Yep, with X Tenebris. Hi. And then in the back here, with the uh, building as obscuring, are three suppressors because I want to pop them out, but also kind of have them somewhat safe. Then over here, got a tank commander, lumen, lumen rust with a demolisher cannon, plasma, and las. Got a chimera with some fun inside. Same thing with the Chimera here, and something here with the Chimera. Got an armor extent with the last cannon. Got an Vindicator Assassin because, well, Sniper vs. Sniper is always a fun thing to do. Mm -hmm. Then, right here, got a squad of Frog Troops with a Grenade Launcher and Melter Gun. Got a Luminous Commander right here, Heavy Bolters, last cannon. He has Gatekeeper also. Tech Priest. Then I got two more squads of Shock Troops. So, one, two, Grenade Launcher and Plasma. And to round it up, two, demolish, two Cyclops Demolishers. And my regimental tactic is Bowling Soldiers because I can't think of anything better. Uh, I don't know the Imperial Guard Codex at all, so I don't know if anything is better for you. Yeah, it, it kind of stinks overall, actually, so. Mm. Mm. Anyway, so, Mason, first turn. All right. Ooh. Oh, funny. Ha, 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 well, as you can see, I actually did a lot of moving, and I, is, and I advanced my Tech Priest right in there, and he is doing the action of... Uh, oh, he's getting the data. He's getting the data. I mean, he's a Tech Priest. He should be getting data. Inload data song. Yes, what he said. Then, well, the vehicle stayed basically in place because well, I have no more room, but I did have a Cyclops actually pop out of a Chimera. I still got the other Cyclops inside of the Chimera. Um, oh, before I forget, I did do the order of Gunnels Killing Sight on each of the Lumen Russes. Um, because I don't have a Company Commander or a Platoon Commander, I can't issue any infantry orders. So, oh well. But, Kidians, they're running towards the Space Marines? Not even that. It's the big suit of doom, also. You, but, you just don't like what it did to the Tyranids. Well, no, it's more like I'm worried about. You can get in close combat with two Chimeras. You got a power fist. You know, was it? It would be strength 14. A Chimera's toughness 7. But have you seen my luck with them? You never know, though. Five attacks, I usually only hit twice. <laughs> you never know. You never know. But, second phase. I tried to do smite. I pooped myself. I apparently am not a psyker. But he, he thought really, really hard going, I can smite! Oh, please tell me you've seen that TTS episode. Text to speech. I bet I have because I watched all of them, but I can't remember it. Oh. 
I don't know, I'm bad. The, what's the name of the Inquisitor that's on the chair? The Dreadnought type chair? Oh my god. Probably, he's got some Russian type name. Well, anyway, <laughs> while we think about that, Cyclops is going to blow up to start the battle off, the shooting phase off. Okay, so this is going to be against uh, the Phobos Marines. Right, the Incursors. Yes, oh, 10. I like that a lot, actually. I do not. I'm actually, I was actually worried I was going to get some less, like much less. I think Hank's going to live. Yay, Hank's going to live, everybody. Yeah, Hank's going to live. Yeah, Hank's going to live. I'm being paranoid over Commodore Hank in his eye. Anyway, so they all instantly hit, thank God. Um, so I'll be winning on a two up. How many am I removing? Uh, nine, but it's actually AP minus. Uh, let me double check my AP. I think it's actually minus two. Minus two? So did you have an armor save? I am in cover. You are. So in effect, it's minus one. Mm -hmm. So I will have a four up armor save, so I'm going to have you hold this. All right, I have four ups to make. Oh wow, that was actually not that bad. Only four go through? Five. Uh, this is, on average, this is going to be the unit. On average, well, you got to roll a and then roll for them and I'll allocate as it goes. Okay, well, number one. Okay, some somebody's just toasted, okay. Uh, one wound, so the next one, whatever it is. All right, so just move the next die to the side. Oh. Well, you threw it out anyway, so. Yeah. Uh, the next one, another one. And just move that one to the side, because it won't matter on that one. Okay. So a total of how many? Uh, three. Three? Oh, not a whole unit. Well, then what, maybe I can do some damage against this SOB right here. And it's against the world suit. Wow, that's... Three. Sucked. Do you wish to CP? No, because I don't like to sell the world seat. I would definitely need more luck. Yeah, you still have Gatekeeper to shoot at it. Yeah, so two wounds at AP minus two. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm not going to get cover with a vehicle. Surprise. And plus you're also in the open, so... Yeah. And I'm Raven Garden. I'm too far away. Or I'm too close. So, I need uh, minus two. <gasps> Excuse me, fives. One pass, one fail. And that is two points of damage. Okay. So, red is multi-laser. And if I get any sixes, it's an instant wound. Ooh, but look at that, I did get a six. Um, and two at AP minus one, my good star. All right, they are in cover, so. Ha <laughs> Actually, uh, how far away are they? They are actually within a beastly uh, 12, about 12 inches. Let me check something. All right, uh, in effect, after all pluses and minuses, a three up armor save. They're both failed, so somebody else dies miserably. Oh my goodness, and I only have to worry about one. Fun part is this is still a sticky objective because they are troops. Well, my problem is them that objective will get mined and me dealing with. Which means if he lives, all he's going to do, this still counts as being under my control unless you put somebody on it. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. My my problem is getting a possible nine mortal wounds on a unit. So it's almost a whole infantry squad or. Yeah. Heavily damaging it's a like, vehicle. It's generally going to be, if I stack everything, it's going to be like three to nine. Yeah, it's three to nine. So I think with that being said. I'm going to shoot the Demolisher, his Lava's Cannon, and his Demolisher Cannon against the World Suit. Then his two Plasma Cannons. Let's go crazy. Overcharged. And him. Because you are. Number of Plasma Cannon clocks. Oof. Two. Yeah, four. Oh, they're D6? D3. D3, each one of those is... When you convert... Oh, I got two twos. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. My bad. Two shots. Overcharged. Oh, two hits though. One is an automatic wound. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so two and minus three. I thought they were minus four when they're overcharged. No. No? No. Oh, 
So, minus three, I do have cover. So, I will be actually minus two, so I'll have a five up. Uh, pass one, fail one. That is two damage. So, he is dead. Okay, so D6 Fox with a demolisher cannon. Wow. Okay, that's Four. good. Yeah. Hitting on threes. Uh, any ones? No, but I do have an instant wound. Am I? Uh, no, I'm not far enough away. I would need to be much further away with that thing. And, oh, wow, that sucked me on the way. Uh, so 30 at minus three. 30 at minus three? Wait, what? Yes. <laughs> minus three, so sixes. I do not make a single one. And that, my good sir, is going to be um, 3d3. So each one is d3 plus 3. So for the first one... Just roll them all at once. Fine. You already had one. One of them was our, one of the reds was already a 1. So... So that's 3, 6, um, 9, 11. Plus the other one. Mm-hmm. Which was in uh, basically an extra four. Yeah, and you have eleven. Eleven wounds, wounds left. So uh, just for giggles, does he go boom? It's not really going to matter, but no. Now it's going to be a sniper versus sniper game. Vindicator against the ironclad dreadnoughts that just magically appeared out of nowhere. I mean, space running is all magical, right? Mmm, psychers. Blood angels. No, they're just cursed by corn. This doesn't make any sense at all, but anyway. <laughs> Minicare Assassin against the Eliminators on the third floor. The top one? Yeah. Not that's Captain? Yeah, the cap because the Captain is on the second floor and I can't see him. No, you can shoot him. I don't want to say to him. Yes, you do. I got these in the way. When you are in the... That doesn't matter. When you are in the terrain feature, you can shoot and be shot at. Well, in that case... You can shoot my captain. Yo, captain, yo, captain, I say. We'll be shot in the face. Barely hits. Uh, but barely, still a hit. Wounds on a two up because he's infantry. Six, and that does something special and magical. I think it does extra damage. Alright, so my captain will still have a six up armor save. Uh, that's six that he wounded... The rolled to wound. Uh, that will make it a D6 damage, I believe you said, right? Mm -hmm. And then he's got the headshot roll. So, I need to make the six. Huzzah! Halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. Ah, uh, D6 damage? Six damage, so he's dead. Hey, fast. Just for giggles, just roll to see if you would wound again. Yeah. And again. No. <laughs> so, seven points of damage to poor old... Eh, we'll call him Billy. Alright, because this is obscuring, it's not about what you can see through there. It's obscuring terrain. It's in the way. So a That crack. Oh. is going to shoot a crack mm -hmm. into them. But what he is stopping me from doing is he is preventing me from being able to perform the secure and sabotage action, which is also one of my secondaries. So I will not be able to, with the action, I will not be able to uh, make the objective boomy. Well, on top of that, I will also be shooting my melter gun and some laws guns into the suit right there. Yep, do some damage. Grenade launcher. Number of shots? Uh, no, it's a crack grenade, so it's only oh, one. Oh, that's right, it's but only one. I miss either way. So now, let's go with the melter gun. Rolls a six. Oh, I'm gonna go and... Do I want to spend a command point? You still have your uh, commander shoot, right? Yeah, I still, got my, I still got the gatekeeper, so I'm gonna save my command point for that. Yeah, that's probably gonna be the better, because that can just destroy him outright. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shoot a couple of laws guns at him, then... Just just a C. Yeah. I think I can see one, two, three, four, five, six. I think one of them is a pistol, but that's really one of those six is a pistol. Yeah, that's not that bad. Okay. So uh, five, so eleven shots, I believe. Yep. 
All right, Mason was being an idiot and accidentally paused the recording. <laughs> Is it recording now? Yes. Now it's got the numbers adding up and the red light on. So, three ancient wounds. Wow. And... That's actually pretty good for yep. 11 shots. So, no. Okay, so I need to make threes. Ah, oh, dang, I tried. Well, they're last guns. You didn't expect much. But you still have an entire unit here to shoot and a giant tank hiding inside there. So I would shoot the giant tank next. You want to do that? I'm going to shoot something else first, actually. I'm going to shoot my Sentinel right there with his last cannon into that yeah, suit right there. Okay. And wow, that stunk. But I'm going to go and shoot these infantry guys actually next into the war suit. Okay. Uh, my plasma gun, I am not overkill clean because I am not that crazy. Really? You? Uh, yeah. He's only a guardsman. There's like untold billions of him that can take his place. You know what? You're right. I'm, he is going to go and shoot. Oh, close. So one hit and... Nope. Wow, that's stunk. Crack grenade from the green launcher. Hey, still better than having a one to your hit roll. True. Uh, it hits. It does, your type of six, right? Yes. So one wound at AP minus one. Okay, so I need a four. That is not a four. So that is a D3 damage. One damage. Okay. He starts off with 13, so. Wild guns, give me a lot of sixes. Oh, wow. I see at least one. Yeah, it was only one six. But wow, so wow, misses. Look at that. That's come on, he's right there in front of you guys. Come on. Raven guard. They're stealthy. How no, how can he be stealthy? Mm, I don't know. Anyway. Well, actually not that bad. You have a total of two wounds. Uh oh yes, because I you need sixes. Yeah. Alright, uh no AP, so threes. There's where my high numbers are. Well, my team commander is going to shoot everything into the war suit right there, starting off with Gatekeeper. So, D3 plus 6 for shots. Ooh, 8 shots. I do like that, actually. Now, I am more than 12 away, so I will get light cover. Uh, am I getting Sam? Yeah, with him. Okay. Raven Guard specialty. So, turret is plus 1, but minus 1. So no, be no, not the heavy cut. Not the dense cover, not the minus one to hit. Light cover, the uh, plus one to armor. Okay, well that gave him on threes. Wow, but re-rolling ones. Uh, okay, so... Auto wounds! Three auto wounds, two misses. Shoot, we have that many at AP minus... I don't know, it's not my head. Well, I'll roll it, and you... I'm pretty sure there's more than a couple of failures in there. <laughs> what about that though? Yeah, even with a two up save, I'm assuming that's at least AP minus three. I mean. It is a relic battle cannon after all. It is AP minus three, three damage. So what's uh, three times one, two, three, four, five, six, 18? I don't think it's enough. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Does he explode just for giggles? Close. No. Okay, MLS shooting unit is Chimera 812 into the... Eliminators on the second floor. Oop, that is really dark here. Because they are in the terrain, and they are very far away, they will be minus one to hit, mm -hmm. but they can still be shot at. Well, that's a very important distinction. Like always, red is multi-laser. I'd be hitting on a four with a multi-laser because I'm turreted weapon. White, and I'd be hitting on fives. Because that's the heavy bolter. Yeah. Ooh, wow, look at that. Still got, still got some. And um, those are your only. Yeah, so, um, AP minus, both are actually AP minus one. Uh, I have cover. <laughs> Doesn't matter then. So, thanks to the cam camo cloaks, I get an extra one to my uh, cover saving throws. So I have a two of armor. So close. Yep. I actually almost did fail that one. But we'll be back with the next item of shoosting.
Wait, say that again, but in English? Uh, that's all that I have for shooting, actually. So, Mason, let's have your show then. Alright, we'll be back with the Raven Guard turn one with very little on the board already. So, although my infantry unit was destroyed, it still had OPSEC and there's still space planes. So, I technically still have this until he moves a unit onto it. Over here. I just shuffled around so I could actually have a bunch of bolters shoot at that squad there. The plan afterwards is then to then assault them. Over here, he just moved up to get line of sight on everything over here. Over back here, the suppressors just hopped up. They will take a minus one to hit penalty for shooting with their heavy weapons, but they have line of sight to 812. Not, uh, what number is that? Uh, five something something something. Yeah. Five zero one. There we go. Right. They cannot shoot five zero one, but they can shoot eight twelve. And same with the all these guys down here. These guys, these guys, these guys. They all have sight to this area right over here, but not over here. I, if I really wanted, I could have one guy over here shoot at the tread that right there, but. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, but we'll see how this party gets rocking. So first off, we're going to start our shoosting with the one unit that does not have a choice of really what it shoots at. The Eliminators with the last fusils on the bottom. 2, 8, 1, 2, you said? 8, 1, 2. And I'm going to pop a command point for smoke okay. on them. Okay. So they're going to hit on threes. Hey, it's better than nothing. Well, that doesn't really matter either way. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Uh, strength eight. Okay, so one at damage. Minus, minus three. So it'll be a six up save. Oh, so close. Three damage. Three damage? Okie dokie then. <laughs> ah, thank you, my good sir. I have no idea what you start at, so. If I can find the eight. Just the eight. Okay, now. For the Invictor or suit, actually no, for the suppressors. I'll shoot the suppressors at the same target there with their auto cannons. They will be hitting on fours because they moved with heavy weapons and because of your smoke at the same time. So the combination saves you from one. Strength seven. So one. AP minus two because actually yeah, the Actually, the previous one was AP minus four because I'm in Dev Devastator Doctrine. This is AP minus two. I'm good, barely, but good. All right, well, barely is still good, so that's all that matters. Let's see now. Let's have some fun. Wait, so those other fucks were not fun? No. Hmm. <laughs> so now let's shoot some bolters. I'm gonna guess into A12. Into these guys. Aww. From here into there. They're no fun. I know, I know. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna use the regular bolters. You do not get any cover, you do not get any, they do not suffer penalties to their hit rolls, ballistic skill, etc. But that's a lot of ones and twos. So I might as well have been minus one. Anyway, uh, threes. threes yep. AP. Zero. Fives. So, wow, only two die. Lucky me. From this Invector, the Fragstorm Grenade Launcher is going to shoot at this squad here. Everything else, including the Iron Hill Heavy Stubbers, are going to go into 812. All right, so, the orange dice are the Heavy Bolter. The red dice here, these are going to be the uh, Auto Cannons. The white dice that are, I have eight of, these are going to be the Heavy Stubber. Well, that's minus one because of smoke. Yep. <laughs> Saves you from three. Wow. Well, two of the three that it saved you from are the heavy one. So, there we go. And those are for hits. Now, for wounds, the red dice, these will need fours. Okay. Everything else will need fives because you're toughness seven, I believe. Yes. 
Wow, Ooh. that was horrible. Especially when I do it on the auto cannons. Um, you know what? I got enough CP. I'll CP reroll one of the auto cannons into a one. Yay! Hmm. So let's see. That is. These are all AP minus two because I'm in Devastator. Okay. These so are, these are damage two. These are damage one. These are into the female, right? Yes, eight one two. So you say AP minus two for both. Yes. Okay. Because I am in Devastator. Oh, five to move. I mean five for my save. Oh. Save. Yeah. So one saved and so two for six points of damage. So the frag storm grenade, the frag storm grenade launcher, with one shot. Hitting the infantry on not that one. So two ones in a row. I do not like that. I mean, unless it was an armor saves. Just saying. Mm. Okay, what do I want to do with the eliminators? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So the first squad of eliminators is going to shoot the mortis rounds into your Vindicare, just for giggles. Okay. Uh, they all hit. Uh, minus one. Actually, hold on one quick second. Okay, so we'll do two minuses to hit. Uh, one is missed, that are the two that I rolled, so these two still hit. Now, with Mortis Rock, six is to wound. That is one mortal wound in addition to other damage. Okay. And these are, because I am in Devastator Doctor, I'm going to be AP minus three. It doesn't matter. But does. you have a four up invul. I do. Two damage each, otherwise. Uh, so I have a total of three damage on him. But you know what? Because I have a shit ton of command points. You figure why not? Yeah, why not, right? Never mind then. Still, three wounds on him. Alright. Alright, the next squad of Eliminators are going to use their Morsus rounds against 812 just to try to finish it off. I probably should have done this from the start. Oh, all hex. Oh, are they? I can't see this other Yeah, one. all fours actually. Oh, well, shit. Okay, Yahtzee. Is that a Yahtzee thing? I think it's six is. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I am strength five, so I will need fives. Mm -hmm. I should get two. Two mortal wounds. And it blows up. I mean, it... Does it blow up? Does oh, it blow thank up? goodness. And there's nobody. So I'm going to try something really crazy. Charge! Oh, okay, that's crazy for you. But my craziness is Overwatch. Only a couple of guardsmen, but... Plus on a frag grenade, Lyle's guns, and melter gun. Starting off with the number of shots for the frag grenade. Oh, that's not that bad, three. Okay, they're all the same strength, so it really doesn't matter. You need sixes of which wound anyway. Yep. I see at least one three. or two. I see two of them. Oh, you pulled the other one for the yeah. area that I cannot see with my eyes. So that, then the melter gun. Oh, so close. So, melt is what you wanted. Yep. Oh, oh, well, well, not that bad. Alright, let's see how far that charge is. Oh, not that bad, actually. I'm a little over ha over average. So, so the Incursors with their paired combat blades at AP minus one, hitting on threes. Mm, that's not that bad. That's a one. That was something else, but high enough. I uh, Nothing else, right? No. Oh. Okay, uh, I'm strength four against your toughness three. So threes. Okay, well... Uh, all AP minus one. Well, I get like all sixes. Oh, no, never mind. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dead. That's the whole squad. Okay, uh, five attacks. Guardsman with bayonets. Uh, two hicks. There we go. And fives. Ooh, one wound. Ah, that meant five for the I actually killed that one. But nope. They survive the gamble! For now, at least. Well, this is going to be a really tricky turn for me because I'm kind of boxed in. So, starting over here... You have enough firepower, don't worry about it. Yeah, but I need to get some command points, that's a problem. I mean, not command points, um... Point points. Yeah, but... Take Commander moved out. Commander moved off a little bit. These guys fell back because... Now, the Canadian squad right in here... Is going to shoot them... Which means I'm going to pop off a couple of stratagems, actually. I'm going to do... And I might pop off a stratagem or two, too. 
Well, I'm gonna do first off. Um, oh my goodness! I'm sorry, guys. I just had this. That's a stretch. Well, yeah, we all know that. We are gonna do in great precision. So, um, I'm gonna be hitting you. I mean, I do an automatic wound on a five instead of a six. And on top of that, I'm gonna do. Um. Oh my God, I am. Mm, volley file. So I'm shooting twice. So three command points, but you know what? Not that bad for what I'm getting. Okay, for volley number one, these are Laz guns. From that squad up there. Yep. Into my incursors. So I'll be doing an automatic boon out of five and seven six. And any sixes I get is a bonus attack. So wow, okay, that's not that bad. So we have so so far right now you have a total of actually five eight automatic wounds. So let me just roll those real quick. Yes. Uh, how many of these are bonus hits? Um that is a total of three. All right, so we'll keep these separate here. Yep. And so let me just roll these real quick because yep. they, they might die here. Oh, no, they won't die. They only got uh, so one. So just one. So far. Yep. So, so far. And then the other. Nothing, but can I see those dice again? Because I have my second volley. Yep. Um, let's see here. We have actually not that bad. A lot. So they have, I have an extra one, two, three bonus attacks, but I have a total of six automatic, seven automatic wounds. Oh, and the uh, bonus. Yep. So that is all those. Three ups, I... Oh, yep, forgot one right here. Oh, thank you. So that is another one, so two dead total. So far. No, so far? What do you mean? That's your second volley. Oh, no, I still just threw my special weapons. Oh. So. Let's see, so before we get that, mm -hmm. I just removed two of my models so far. Yep, and two crack grenades from the grenade launcher. Wow, I pulled one hit. That's not that bad. Which is an auto wound. Yep, so AP minus one. That does do a wound. Nope, it actually does D3. So, two damage. All right, so that will unplug your vehicle. Then for the plasma gun, overcharged, shot number one. Two, wow, okay, two manic hit wounds. And an extra, I believe, an extra hit. Yes. Which is an auto. AP three. three? Yep. Oh, because this the plasma? Yes. I made one. So two more dead. So if Sun Kiss walks in the battle. Oh, who's happy? <laughs> okay, um we gotta do the demolisher right here. We gotta do the um the cannon into the top squad. Transhuman physiology. Yes. Then overcoach plasma for the second floor guys. I am in cover with camo cloaks, so I'll be getting an extra two, not just one for my cover save. So they're effectively at one, but minus, what, I believe AP minus three. Yep. We'll make, put them all the fours. And then the wild cannon is gonna be shooting to the suit right there. Okay, demolish the cannon first. Wow, that stunk. One? Um, turret weapon, so yeah, it's a hit. Minus one, plus one. So it negates it basically. Yep. And four. at least a four. Oh, look at that. Hey, that's a bunch of fours in a row. Uh, can you give me a four or higher? You no. Cannot. D6 damage. Uh, so somebody dies. We're yes. gonna make uh, you. We're gonna make uh, you uh, die. Now you're a beautiful model, yes, but you die. Overcoat plasma. Uh, wow. Okay. 
No. <sighs> okay. And last cannon. It is a hit, though. It is a wound. AP is minus three, I believe? Yes. Not quite. If I could just... Doop. <laughs> so close, Macy. So close. <laughs> wow, he sucks. So I'll put that down. Because it is just D6, right? It is correct. Okay, Light Green Chimera, everything to the second floor eliminators. Oh, they are beautiful from this angle. Yeah. Like always, red is more laser. Oh, wow, okay. Um, so one of the multi laser. They're all minus one to be hit because yes. they're infantry in fully within terrain. Plus one for turret, by minus one, so negated. And. Just what they needed. Yep. So threes. So both are AP minus one. But I get an additional two to my cover save, so I go to one. But I can't do that in your minus one, so two up save. Wow. So one is dead and the other one's wounded. Uh, what's the damage? Uh, two and one. All right, so I'll take the one first, and then I'll take the two. Fuck you. <laughs> A team commander who's hitting inside of a building. He's doing the proper armor ambush, i.e. keeping his barrel inside of the building, not sticking out. Are you saying that's stupid? What? <gasps> who would have thought of that? So, the gatekeeper and the last cannon is going into the suit, and the two heavy bolters into the suppressors. Way over there. So, starting off with gatekeeper. D3 plus 6. Wow. So, uh, 12. Nine. No, it's nine. It's D3, not D. Mm -hmm. Okay. There. So now the Vindicator is going to shoot into the Eliminator Squad, the one that's not trans. Human physiology. Yes. Hitting on a two. Barely. Wounding on a two. Ooh, command point. Not worth it. It's just killing one guy. Yeah, you're right. But my Sentinel of the Lost Cannon is going to shoot into the same unit. One. Sigh. So five zero one is going to fire against the suppressors yes. way over here. Go! Oh wow, look at that. Two automatic wounds. And then we have oh these are all hits. So you have a total of that many at AP minus one. This many, minus one. So, three up armor. Two failures. He's dead. One is dead anyway. Mm -hmm. So, at the end of the turn, Mason, we kind of decided to call the game. So, yep. So, the last ninth edition game for us, um, it was it was an interesting game, actually. I know they were saying, um, yeah, they could actually go and knock out the rest of my infantry. But at the end of the day, I have my vehicles. Yep. And realistically, the things that I can kill are this infantry squad. And if I have some decent luck with the last fusels, uh, you're sunk. With decent luck. But at the same time, I would have... You still have, just leave him on there. Leave your infantry squad on there. Move these guys up just to have this. They are scoring up. Just one, not just two, but more. Because I technically... No, I, I didn't have it. I did have it at the end of my turn. Yeah. I technically still have this and this. Mm -hmm. I definitely still have this one. So I have hold one, hold two. You have hold one, hold two. But in your next movement phase, even if I jump these guys out, advance them, you'll kill them. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Right. These guys will move, probably advance up, and there you you already well, got it, and I also, you can just move up there and be fine. If I really be in a hole, I was thinking Cyclops in here, I can ploop out, hide them on objective one. This guy can just run to objective three. These two can run up to objective two. And for a strategy for one command point, I can make a Lumen Russ have uh, objective secured. Yeah. So. Oh no, well, hopefully in 10th edition, it's going to be interesting. So, everybody, thank you for joining us through 9th edition, and next time we will see you, it will be 10th edition.
Till then, Mason. Get your shit painted right now.